is that you will grow progressively larger and stronger muscles only when you train with increasing levels of intensity. This is universal and applies to all human beings. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I finally start the Golden Era series on Mike Mensah. Now Mike Mensah was a bodybuilder from the 1970s who went against the establishment. He went against Wader and Arnold Schwarzenegger and came up with heavy duty training. A style of abbreviated training which I will explain in my, the best of my ability through the next series of videos. Let's start off with this awesome shot of Mike Mensah. Now the man was known for his moustache, that thick moustache, which really complemented that thick, thick physique that he had. Jesus, I mean, everything was huge. He was, he was enormous. And I mean, I think that was such a shock to the world when they saw this thick physique that everybody started adopting his form of abbreviated training. And it really started, yeah, to cause a whirlwind in the waiter organization. So let's have a look at Mike Mensah's uh, career and his idea of heavy duty training. Now, who was Mike Mensah? Mike Mensah was an American bodybuilder who mainly competed in the 1970s. He was also a philosopher. You can listen to many of his seminars still on YouTube and realize what an intellectual he really was and a great author too, having published many books on bodybuilding. In the Mr. Universe 1978, he was the first bodybuilder to ever achieve a perfect score of 300 and he repeated this in the 1979 heavyweight division of the Mr. Olympia, which he then controversially lost the overall title against Frank Zane, one of the waiter boys. This frustration increased in the 1980 Mr. Olympia with Arnold's comeback after he only placed fifth. At this point, he was absolutely sick of the waiter establishment and the politics behind bodybuilding. He began preaching his heavy duty training and his principles of bodybuilding. And who can argue with his methods? I mean, look at this most muscular pose. Every muscle is thick, dense, and about to burst through the skin. The skin is incredible. It's just incredible. Mike Mensah, as I mentioned, was a real intellectual. He was a pre-med student at the University of Maryland who actually studied genetics, physical and organic chemistry. And after study, uh, studying uh, bodybuilding, he competed in the 1971 AAU Mr. America and came 10th, suffering his worst defeat. Uh, Casey Viator, who won the competition, was a student of Arthur Jones, the inventor of the Nautilus machines. And Casey used Arthur Jones's method of bodybuilding, which was called at the time high intensity training. Once Mike Mensah befriended Casey and found out what kind of bodybuilding principles and methods he was using, he started studying about high intensity training and then aimed to perfect Arthur Jones's methods and he came up with his own called heavy duty training. And his motto was basically, or, or, or the, the purpose of heavy duty training was to help a drug free person achieve his full or his or his or her full genetic potential in the shortest amount of time possible and as i mentioned before who can argue with his methods when you see the results that he achieved as well as some of his students such as six times mr olympia dorian yates who credits his success to heavy duty training now what is heavy duty training according to mike mensa it is the most logical approach to muscle building using the most scientific methods at least at the time they were in essence it is an abbreviated method of progressive resistance training where one seeks to train to failure by increasing the intensity in every single workout the greater the intensity the greater the stimulation of muscle growth now, high intensity training, according to Mike Mensah, requires one to give an effort that is intense enough in the workout. And the workout should be short enough in duration and not too frequent, basically more infrequent than frequent to allow the recuperative ability of the body to allow growth to occur. And this overall, this combination will stimulate maximum muscle growth in the individual that is training. Now, because giving your absolute effort, your greatest intensity in the workout 
is one of the keys to heavy duty training. One of the things that Mike Mensa preached was to actually use low volume and therefore increasing the exercise number or the sets or the time of the worker essentially kills the recuperative ability of the individual and diminishes the intensity of further workouts and therefore leads to a lack of results. This was one of the keys in high intensity training. Now, according to Mike Mensa, the ability of one to have maximum growth stimulation is entirely dependent on the level of intensity of a workout. This basically determines the rate of muscular growth. And one can put it simply by stating that the greater the intensity or the effort in the same amount of time or in a shorter amount of time will basically lead to a greater growth stimulation. As an example, one can compare a sprinter with a marathon runner. We can ask a marathon runner to run 10 Ks and he'll do it no problem. But then you can ask a sprinter to run 100 meters 10 times. And who out of both athletes do you, do you think will have the greatest amount of muscular growth? Obviously the sprinter, because he gives maximum effort every single time. And that is the point, the intensity. The intensity of the workout determines the amount of growth stimulation. A very intelligent principle that Mike Mensa came, out, came up with. I would like to quote Mike Mensa in one of the most, I think, famous lines he has ever said, one of the most important lines when it comes to heavy duty training. The single most important factor influencing increased muscle size and strength is an individual's capacity to utilize 100% of your momentary ability, that is your maximum effort, and only through training to failure Training with maximum effort can you truly achieve muscular growth. Another quote he once said was, it is in the last repetition of a set where muscle growth takes place. This is why he had such an importance on training to failure. The methods that he actually used to achieve muscular failure, usually only between 8 to 12 reps, was actually using techniques that we have all heard of nowadays, but in a very intelligent manner pre-exhaustion, forced reps, partial reps, and negatives. Now, Mike Mensa was a true believer that because we are all essentially alike, and we are talking here about human physiology, and the only differences between us are age and also our genetic potential, but essentially we are all alike. We are all human beings with similar physiologies, and because we all adapt to stress, Therefore, by increasing the stress or the intensity in a workout, for example, this would lead to muscular, uh, muscular uh, gains. And, and essentially, this is why he believed that this principle was universal. And that is his principle of heavy duty training. So I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to Mike Mensa and heavy duty training. I will now, in the next video, talk about Mike Mensa's thoughts on realistic goals, basically on how much muscle you can expect to gain per year. That's the next topic of the next video. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. And leave me your comments. And thank you again for watching. I'll leave you with this awesome shot of Mike Mensa as a youth. And this will be a topic as well of a later video on Mike Mensa and heavy duty training. Where we also cover the realistic goals in, in respect to genetic potential. This is something else that, that he actually talks about in some of his books and I wish to cover that as well. Anyway, this is the Golden Era book one. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Bye for now.